coming up in this episode of Little Boat Adventures, we finally install our South Atlantic wind vane and take our boat for a shakedown sail. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Little Boat Adventures. I uh, just want to take two minutes before this video starts to say a massive, massive thank you to those who have visited our Coffee and Patreon pages. We appreciate it so much. Your donations will really help us with the production of these videos and to help get so far ready for bigger and better adventures. So thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. I'd uh, also like to say hello and welcome to our new subscribers and those who are joining us uh, for the first time on Little Boat Adventures. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider clicking the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time we post a new video. Again, thanks for following along in this journey. We really, really appreciate it. So one of the things we said we wanted to get and uh, help us sail longer. Um, was a wind vane so we ordered a S301 uh, wind vane from South Atlantic wind vanes and here she be so we have opened it and done a wee bit of an unboxing which um, we'll show you we got the ocean model which came with two of the um, pendulum rudders there and two um, of the wind vanes and then the almost completely assembled um, wind vane itself we're just going to measure up and see where it's going to go in the transom and then we'll show you how we're going to go about doing that all set ready to go so step one of the process of fitting the wind vane was to find out where the mountain bracket was going to go. So we're measuring up here to see that it was going to be just to make sure it was mounted centrally on the transom, but also that it was up high enough that it was that it wasn't sitting too low in the water. Once we were confident enough that we had measured correctly, then it was time to drill some holes and fit the mountain bracket. <laughs> That's the mount. It's going to go onto a transom, but we're going to mount it on some wood because the transom is curved. So we need to keep it the outside flush with the mountain bracket, um, but the inside of it to, to curve along with the, the shape of the transom. So what I'm doing is just. Um, trying to sand the curvature of the transom into this piece of wood and then we'll clean it up drill the two holes for the mounting and then we'll be able to mount the bracket that holds the, the wind vane on yeah so we're just working away at the curvature here and then we'll clean up around the sides but use the, the bracket as a template clean that all up and put an epoxy coating on it and then some primer and then some paint and that should get ready to go so a wee bit of a curvature on it already there just need to even that out
maybe just needs a wee bit that said it's a little bit more here so we carried on sanding until we got a nice enough curvature on this piece of wood to allow it to mount flush to the transom <laughs> the nozzle's clogged so I'm trying to Circle and make a bit of a scene there, but I don't know about being a pastry chef, babe. Your icing skills, <laughs> I feel miserably on my decorative icing skills. It'll smoosh out anyway, it'll smoosh out as long as I've got in, a, in a round where the screws will be going in because that'll be the seal. Area. Um, Should have cleaned that nozzle after I used it last time. But there's going to be a lot of smoosh anyway. Yeah. Right, so. And then these bits. Looks like you've got my wee shaky hands on it. Alright. Oh, nicely. So, washer, screw nut, or bolt. And then, what's the other one? No, I'll do this. Here, there's one on the ground. Here. So, pump, pump, stainless. And there, and then this is going to go on to here. Make sure we've got it the right way up. So that's going to be the down. top. Okay, so good. up onto the thing, might need, you, might need you to do that but to pop it in because I'm going to have to get inside with the washers and the, the nuts. Okay, so I'll pop upstairs now. So the camera seemed to time out and there, and I don't know how much of that you've seen, but that's the, the bracket and holder for the wind vane. So today's the day that we're going to get our wind vane fitted. We have done the bracket already, as you've seen. So we're going to put the pendulum component onto it, under the transom now. And it comes already, probably I would say 90, 90 odd percent built and ready to go. All you need to do is fit that bracket and then just add the pendulum part on it, add the rudder thing, stock thing, <laughs> what would you call that? The pendulum rudder? Add the pendulum rudder to the, the bottom and uh, when being to the top and it's it's ready to go well bar putting the, the bits of rope round and connecting them onto your tiller but Kelly's just going to lift this part of the, the wind vane over and you can see just how complete it comes and all you have to really do to, to get it set up. You got your Allen case and stuff yet? Yep. Don't drop it on my head. Do 
we drop it? <laughs> So that goes on like this. Slides down and then these wee nuts. Trying to get down here without breaking my kneecap. them somebody collecting some muscles some can't oh sorry muscles hello 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 <laughs> so this is the little push rod and that will come up through here So that's us pretty much level there, isn't it? And then I'll set on that. So as the wind blows the steering arm on this, either side to side, this will turn the, turn the little rudder paddle, paddle, rudder paddle thing, and it will swing out left to right and activate this jobby like that. Wonderful. And then that will work through two lines, which will go port side, starboard side, through a block onto. Uh, connector on the rudder. So as it goes this way, I'll pull the rudder one way or the tiller one way and steers. Happy days. Yeah. Another job so, done. Another job done, and then that we can just angle that to whatever angle the the wind is coming from. Hey folks. Good morning. It is middle of May and it is finally launch day we are all set to go the boat's just around the corner we're just waiting on the tide going out and it's getting there about another hour and a bit before we're at low tide and then we're going to lower the the boat and the trailer down into the slipway and then we can chill out for a few hours until the tide comes in and then we'll float her off uh, yeah, so really excited, looking forward to it. We've put a lot of work into the boat in a short, uh, short space of time. Um, so hoping everything goes okay, particularly with the transducer, depth sounder and the, the new through hull. Now when I say we, we've done it in a short space of time, that doesn't mean that we, we really cut any corners on, on that um, because it is such a, an important part of the, the boat's uh, integrity so once we get the, the boat floating that'll be the first thing we check is that um, there's no leaks around that new through hull mountain that we made and then secondly that the depth sounder works and um, because as you can see there I mean 
there's rocks everywhere. So we have to follow a narrow transit, which would be kind of from the, the green shed there, right through towards the house, across the way, and then once we get out past these rocks, we hook a right, and up through a narrow passage um, in between these two um, exposed areas of, of ground. And then over in the distance, you'll see the light ship where we will hopefully take a space on the pontoon for, the, for tonight and come down again tomorrow and move the boat, the boat out onto our swing and mooring. It's go time! Two feet! Two feet! Three! Oh. Hey folks, we're just out on the boat today and I'm trying to get shelter from the wind so I hope you can pick up what I'm saying okay. Um, we had intended to try out the wind vane but we've lost a, we need an extra two pulley blocks and we lost one of the pins of the other one so we actually need three pulley blocks to set up the line for that so we're not going to get doing that today but um, as you've seen, we've installed a speed log and depth sounder and what we want to do is calibrate it. So we're going out into the lock and I just had to read through the instruction manual again because I'm not 100% sure how to, how to do it but I think we have to do a couple of runs up and down over a, a mile for it to calibrate properly. So that's what we're going to do. Once we've that done, there's good wind today and it's sunny. So we're just going to get the sails up and go a, a nice sail on the lock. That's the plan. Um, I don't think we're going to do much else today. Sorry about the noise of the engine in the background. We have it on just because we haven't got the seals up yet, but we're going to get them up now. We have done a calibration of the speed. It's the very basic instructions we followed um, for the speed setup to calibrate the speed. There's a more technical way to do it, but I just haven't read the instructions well enough to know how to do that. So we've done a basic speed calibration setup, and I'll show you that shortly. Um, but we're going to just get up now and get the sails up. We are heading south with the wind behind us and the tide pushing us. So we're doing about five and a half knots. Um, so once we get the sails ready to go up, we'll turn back into the wind, get our sails up and get the engine off. Where's Daddy Smithy? Absolutely lovely over the starboard. Nice view of the Moor Mountains in the background. It's actually all right all around. Yeah. The winds, yeah. Our wind speed indicator has packed in again. 
but we're kind of averaging about 10 knots yeah. 10 to 15 knots of wind I would say um, so we have head sail and main sail out just taking it easy nice leisurely cruise Let's see if we can see some dolphins We're kind of sitting, as you can see there, seven knots. <laughs> so we got a bit gust of wind. Uh, so it just eased the, the main sheet, and that brought us back on the a more upright position. <laughs> Under control. Sky's falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down Get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Well, that was the end of our day and um, we were happy with how it went. The shakedown sail went really well. We really enjoyed it and got some nice sailing in. We were very happy that the new through hull that we put in for our new transducer, there was no leaks and that all our BNG equipment was working well. So uh, a successful day all in all. Thanks for watching this episode guys. We really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did then please give it a thumbs up and let us know what you thought of the video in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing and if you'd like to support our channel and the production of these videos check out some of our links in the description box below. We'd really appreciate that.